You know, folks, uh, some men become great inventors, business typhoons, or brilliant scientists. And me, I get hit in the face with pies. Uh, now, let me tell you how this revolting situation got started. Mr. Stoop, president of Stupendous Television Studios, he called me in his office one day and said, uh, Smedley, I must find a new show for Saturday night. I've got to read all those scripts and do not wish to be disturbed. Now, Smedley, if I am disturbed, I shall be forced to pink slip you. Do you know what that means? A pink slip? Uh, 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 hmm. It means... You will be fired! Is that clear, Smedley? Uh, yes, sir. Good. Uh, carry on, knucklehead. Don't worry, sir. I won't let nobody bother you. I'll... today. today. Speedy relief from acidity. Stuff a stuffer in your mouth. <gasps> Watch its instant action. <laughs> Al Ropo, the filtered cigar. It's all filter, men. No tobacco, just filter. Ninety million little filters. It takes a man to smoke an El Ropo. This sturdy, low-mileage model was owned by a little old lady from Pasadena. And now back to our movie. Now, folks, <coughs> yeah. don't forget to take your Vitahex pills. Good night, y'all. Apply pucker-proof lipstick with a gentle stroke. <coughs> and now, the exciting interior of the new Mark 7 Series 11 Super Freezer. Guaranteed to freeze me instantly. <laughs> I found it! I found it! I found it! 
I'm telling you, you got to be quieter than a deep goldfish in a soundproof aquarium. Don't take nothing to start them rocks a tumbling down. <laughs> Do for you soon. Ajax Novelty Company. Jokes, tricks, noisemakers. Salesmen will give free demonstration. Hmm. Mr. Ajax. What you got there, son? Hmm. A brick. Well, I don't want no truck with bricks. Boomerang brick. I don't get it. to shake hands, huh? I just give him the old engine death grip. <laughs> ho, 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 hold your fire, boy. Don't shoot. Let me try that toy, son. The flag comes out here, huh? some pests, but I'll be a plucked chicken if he weren't the worst. Hello, handsome. This is your TV, sweetie. 
Tell me, lover boy, are you lonely tonight? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, come closer, and I'll play our love song to you. That's right neighborly of you, son. Here, in the icy grip of the Antarctic, this ship fights a grim battle to clear the sea lanes of ice. Her job, crush or be crushed. To amuse the crew, she carries a mascot, and in the tradition of the sea, the mascot lives in the lap of luxury. Ah. Wake up, sir. It's time for chow. Here's your grog. And here's your great big sizzling steak. Uh, open wider, sir. Ah, there we are. <laughs> Look at the penguin. Yeah, the penguin. Here's our hat, little fella. Hi, that's my hat. What do you say? We keep him for a mascot. Yeah, for a mascot. You're our new mascot, boy. Look here, you deep freeze chicken. I'm the mascot on this ship, and. <laughs> That boy has got to go. Welcome aboard, son. Gonna be our new mascot, huh? Well, uh, let me show you around the ship. Uh, by the way, do you have a match? Thanks. Hold this, son. Uh, I'll be right back. Hear this. If I find the swab that's playing jokes, I'll break him in two! Ah, 
I'll use this here ice cream cone to wash that cotton picking penguin overboard. How about some refreshments, son? Now look here, man. That's good ice cream. Ice cream, huh? I like ice cream. <laughs> Come on, Admiral. You're in the groove, man. Cut your engine and set her down. have mascots to amuse the crew, but the crew must also work, and on this ship, the job is to crush ice. You're telling me. There are few things in the realm of nature more dramatic than the long journey of an iceberg. Starting from the cold regions of the Antarctic, it floats majestically towards the South Seas where the hot sun melts it rapidly. Often, someone is marooned on these icebergs, and as the warm waters melt his little floating island, he struggles bravely for survival. Then, gasping his last gasp, he sinks beneath the cruel sea. Bananas. All I eat are bananas. <laughs> For 28 years, I've been eating bananas. A visitor? Uh, for me? You know, I thought I saw a penguin. A penguin? <laughs> I'm pleased to eat you. I mean, to meet you. Well, you're just in time for dinner. <laughs> penguin pizza pie. Man, oh man. Don't that sound just scrumptious? Now, don't move. <laughs> now just lie down whilst I make you nice and comfy. There. He's a cute little fella. Shucks. I tell you, I feel like a downright heel. And that's a cotton picking truth. But you know, folks, I'm hungry! <laughs> Hey, 
brains, man. Brains. <laughs> That boy don't know his own strength. Come back here, boy. You and me's got a date for dinner. shoot an old defenseless dog, now would you? I'm under a flag of truce, son. You know what that means. I guess he doesn't. I'll use my Australian boomerang to fetch him. Just a flick of the wrist. And he's back. Uh-oh. It's you again. Man, I'm getting off this island. At last, I'm rid of that big ape. That's what he thinks. <laughs> 